Andy Austin here with a video to show you a little method for what you can do about these websites that are duplicating your material and selling them on your behalf and keeping the money. Now this does require a bit of work on your part. It's not going to be one of those where if you just think about it, it's going to happen all by itself. I'm going to show you exactly what to do. It doesn't take too long, but it does take a little bit of effort. Something that many trainers and content developers seem to struggle with. Okay, so let me just change the setting here and I can show you what we do. So the first thing we've got to do is to find out which of the websites are indexed in Google for our own particular product. You can only report the pages that list your product. You can't report on behalf of somebody else unless you are appointed by that person. Don't be tempted to break the rules because you can actually find yourself in trouble. Ironically, I know. Um, so stick with the system. Now, obviously, the more content creators that report the site requiring them to make an effort, then the greater the effect is going to be. The advantage of this is actually it's quite a quick system to use and you can report multiple websites per product. And this is the important detail. We search on the product, you're reporting a copyright infringement of a particular product, and then you can name all the sites that are listing that product. And then you have to do that once per product. It's not a case of you just report a website that's listing 10 products and report that site you're reporting infringements of copyright of a particular product. Now, obviously, the more people that actually do this, the more content creators actually follow this process, the more these sites get removed from the Google index. Um, so if you can share this video with content creators who are being ripped off, encourage them to actually do something. I know it's going to be tricky, um, not the easiest thing to motivate the motivators. Um, if they can actually do something about this following this, this process, then we will start to see results. So this is how it's done. Go to any of the bootlegging sites that have your product. Um, I'm looking here at imhlab.com. Then what I've done is I've typed um, my name up into the search bar. These sites all use the same template. They're, 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 they look different, they have different appearances, but the actual content is fed in through a third party. So what I'm then gonna do is I'm gonna copy the exact name title that they have used, including the punctuation, keep that exact term. And then I'm gonna to go to Google and I'm gonna paste that into Google, putting it in quotation marks that you can see at the top here. So that's in quotation marks. So it looks on that exact search string. And as you will now see in the first page, the top 10 results there, we've got glucom.com, sunlearn.com, standbysun.com, all the e L -E -Do, that that's a new one on me, L edu, I guess that is, or L ledu, um, the learn.com. So the first, first page, they are all the bootleg sites. So that will probably go on for, oh, it keeps going. So there we have a nice little list of bootleg websites, some of which I've not seen before. So I'm gonna report all those sites. We're reporting a copyright infringement of a specific product, not a bootlegging website. So when I go to the Google copyright removal system, I'm doing an infringement against a copyright of a product. It's an important distinction. It will make sense as we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in Google copyright removal into Google and in a new tab. So tabs here are your friend because it'll make it a lot quicker. Report content for legal reasons. I'm gonna click there. And then you can read through this if you want to know the rules and how all this works. I'm going to then go create a request. And then now it starts to, uh, it's like a call center. So I've now got to find the one. Um, and the, our purpose is here is Google search. Um, is he, if it's on a Google website, you can have the whole website removed. So I'm, this is on Google search. We're removing things from the Google search returns, the, the Google index. And I'm going to go for Google search. Uh, again, then we go down. I would like to report malware, phishing, similar issues, a piece of content I'm concerned about, personal information, intellectual property issue, report copyright infringement, other legal issue. So intellectual property issue. And now we're looking at copyright infringement. My copyright work's being used illegally without authorization. A counter notice, no. Circumvention, counterfeit, sale of counterfeit goods. Trademark, okay, don't click the trademark. I made that mistake and it takes you through this massive great system 
only to find out unless you've got a registered trademark through a lawyer through the trademark office you can't do it so we're looking here at sale of counterfeit goods Re request removal of a specific web page selling counterfeit goods oh yeah don't click the one selling counterfeit goods it takes you all around the houses um you type in loads and loads of data and then it wants your actual trademark um legal thing the bit of paper from the trademark office so unless you've got a, an official trademark then you don't want to click that button you'll see uh, click the other one instead which i'm about to show you and then go back create a request so google search google search I would like to intellectual property issue. And now I'm gonna go for copyright infringement. Is it of myself? Yes, it is. Only the authorized copyright. All right, so now we've gone through to copyright removal. So it's worth reading through each of the page. Once you've got it the first time, then it's gonna be a lot quicker. Right, first name, surname, company name, association, blah, copyright holder, self. I confirm that I'm a copyright holder. Um, I better give the correct address there. Kingdom. Is this submission related to an unauthorized stream of an upcoming live event? No. Right, so identify and describe the copyrighted work. So I'm gonna put online training program video. Integral eye movement therapy practitioner videos. Where can we see an unauthorized example of the work? So now they want to see the URL. So that's going to be, okay, so that's where the original product is. So that goes in there. Right, location of the infringing material. Please provide the URLs of the alleged infringing material that you're asking us to remove. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one per line. I'm gonna copy all of these into that little box there. Now, this is the quickest way to do that. This is where tabs are your friend. I'm gonna go right click, open a new tab, copy, and I can then close that, and I can go to here and paste. Enter, come back to here, right click open a new tab copy and then close that copyright removal in there enter and i'm just going to go all the way down in the same thing opening in a new tab each time so i can just copy that although that looks like that's gone already but we'll stick it oh no there it is Obviously, some of these Google search returns, it's the same site. It's just giving different aspects of the same page, whatever. Um, so let's go to there. So make sure you've got the right product page when you do that. Some of these pages are not necessarily going to be indexed in Google. So this one, if you look at this page here, this is what's indexed in Google. The product isn't. But I'm going to put both of those in anyway. So make sure you do get the correct URLs when you're posting them in. Google will just dump any one that's not in the Google index anyway, so it doesn't matter. Right, so that's all of those. Um, so that's now quite a few actually in that little box there. Um, now we just guys swear that I'm doing this in good faith. I know everything I say is true. I understand, blah, blah, blah. Yes, it goes to public. Signed on this date of, what is the date? 26th. 26th. Oh, it's American, isn't it? So it's 09 26 2020. Signature, Andrew T. Austin. I'm not a robot, at least not yet. And submit. Now, that's it. That's all you've got to do. Now, what I'm going to recommend you do, because it makes it easier to find later on, um, 
if you go to removals dashboard, and if you've got a Google account already, Gmail account, this will take you through to it. Um, you'll see on here, this is there's an old one on there. This is what my test one I did before. I had five URLs put in and they've all been removed. Um, the one up top here, you'll see if I click on that, there's the list I've just put in. Now this has taken about four weeks. Um, they, what they've said to me is that it takes a little bit longer because of the COVID. Um, they're not working quite so quickly. So normally it would take about a week. Um, it's currently taking about four weeks. So don't expect anything straight away. What I'm gonna recommend you do is once you've got your legal removal dashboard um, page, bookmark it so you can then check back later on. But I say be patient. So now the more people that do this, the more these sites will be removed from the Google index. Now, obviously it helps if mine don't get listed anymore, um, they're not gonna be finding my product and then buying your product. If you get yours removed, they're not gonna find your product on these sites, then go click through, oh, we'll buy Austin's too. You see how this works. So the more people that do this, the greater the effect is gonna be. So good luck out there, those of you trying to motivate the motivators who can to take action. Um, use the comment section below if you've got any additional things that can be done. Um, let us know what you're doing as well. Do please click the like button because that helps promote it up the Google, um, the YouTube algorithm. Um, and hopefully we can have something done about this. Um, let's see what happens. Let's see what you're capable of. <laughs>